Roy Hodge here, coming back to you. I'm still in Sierra Leone, and today, as you can see, we are jam-packed in every direction. For this event here, we're outside of Fort Bay College. If you don't know, Fort Bay College is one of the first, actually the first university here in West Africa. People used to come from Senegal, Nigeria, Ghana, all of these West African countries to come and get their studies. And today, as you can see, we have, we have graduation. It's 2024, April 25th. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this line moving and, and make it into the venue. But as of right now, we're standing out and the heat is starting to increase, increase. If we make some movement, if we make some movement, I'm gonna keep the camera mo rolling. All right, we found our solution. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on this bike. The cut through, having to walk up the hill. But the graduates, they started to enter the venue. And now, we're making our way there. It's just, there's so much congestion today. You know, this whole week, there's been so many graduations for different universities, IPOM, Fort Bay College. Okay. So, should be arriving soon. Getting to skip all of these people. And instead of climbing up the hill, Early on, you have to expect to go through some type of difficulties to suffer a little bit. We've been waiting here about one hour, but now there's some movement happening. Hopefully, we're able to get a decent seat. Okay, got to the campus. You know for how much of a rush there is down that hill to get up here. I'm surprised there's not more activity. Like, yeah, yeah. it's still very quiet. Uh, I'm excited though, you know, we came to celebrate one of our people's graduation. And for me, this is my first uh, ceremony like this in West Africa. I thought it'd be great to take you guys along with me. Mm. But as usual, things are getting started a little bit late. It's supposed to be starting at 10 o'clock and we're looking at 10.30 right now. Mm. It looks like we're walking up one of a bit of a line here. They give each student two invitations for the graduation. But I was able to pick up one here at the bottom of the hill for like 80 cents. You know, 80 cents could be a big thing here in, in this alone, the Sierra Leone. Welcome to the Faculty of Pure and Applied Sciences. And you know, this university is big when it comes to the sciences, some engineering. Before it was big on theology, like especially uh, Christian theology. Yeah. It's funny that this university was major, major in West Africa before. Like I said, it was the first university in West Africa. But now, you know, people don't really regard Sierra Leone as much or think of, you think of too many special things happening here. You know, this, this is a place that gets mostly ignored and mostly overlooked. But Sierra Leone, when it comes to this, the history with the slavery and being one of the more developed places in West Africa before. It's definitely an important part of history. Yeah. Hopefully we can move forward instead of going backwards. But hey, we've been suffering lately. Even these days, you know, there's been some type of blackouts we've been dealing with. Okay, well now we're making it to the main. We're making it to the main place where the ceremony is going to be happening. If 
you can see the stage up here. This is where the students would be walking across. Almost time to get the show on the road. Slowly but surely getting closer and closer. Trying to make the way down. But the place is packed. Packed to the gill. There's, <laughs> there's nothing like a seat anywhere. If you want a seat, you want a seat, you make a seat. That's pretty much the rules right now. Mm. You see every single direction. We have a lot of people. Here go the graduates on this side. Want a seat, make a seat. Let me let's dangle our way. Let's dangle our way through the people. And we push. I'm trying to get all the way to the stage. I'm trying to get next to the principal. You know what I mean? Next to the superintendent, principal. Maybe the mayor and the governor is up there too. Yeah. Uh, and let me, let me say something. You know, when it comes to all the difficulty, when it comes to all the difficulty you find in this West Africa, always remember you make a way for yourself. You gotta push through. So that's what we're doing. You know, one of the reasons I haven't been uploading is because I fried my I fried my laptop and and I lost some batteries for my for my camera. But now I'm back and I'm just trying to, to manage uploading these videos for you guys. So in other words, I'm pushing through, pushing through the difficulty. Like I said, we're pushing through. Buy the book one. Yeah. Buy one of the book. Twenty. Everybody's here with their families. Okay, time to, time to make our way out. But you see, it's another packed situation. We jammed in here tight. <laughs> Time to make another way. Time to make another way. But we got the we got the graduate here, so mission success. So overall. Mission success, came out, show support. Got to talk about Fort Bay College a little bit. I feel like I should even come up here and make a video just about the college. It's history, showing the campus, different places. You see now everybody's starting to leave. Everybody's going on their way. It was a nice day. You know, I feel like I feel like making vlogs again. I had some technical difficulties with my uh, batteries and with my laptop and everything, but we're gonna push through. We're gonna push through. Again, it's worldwide high, if it's travel, if it's languages, if it's just vlogs, whatever you like, I'm here for you. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Like, subscribe, next time.